Hey, it's Kat from Fit Kitty Tries, and I just finished watching the Canva Creates keynote for 2024, um, basically highlighting some of their new features. So I'm actually recording this right now, not with my usual mic, because they have an audio enhancement feature, which I want to test out. They've also created a lot of um, tools for video editing, so I'm going to try and edit this video on Canva for you. But I want to just hop on right after the Canva Creates presentation to let you know what they discussed and what what my feedback is. It was really targeted for businesses and enterprises. The idea of bringing together all the different tools that businesses use. Their key kind of highlights was the growth of visual communication. So how everybody in every industry is needing to communicate visually. Um, and that it's taking a lot of time to do that. <laughs> I can attest to that. Um, yeah, bringing all the workplace tools into one place, making Canva more collaborative, and then the rise of AI, um, which is really exciting as well. If you wanna check out the new um, Canva layout, I'm gonna show you how, and you can get access to some of the features. Okay, so I'm just gonna jump into my free Canva version that I use with Fit Kitty Tries. So in order to get the new Canva, I don't know if it'll work if you don't have a pro, but you click on this seven times. So this gives you early access to Canva's new features. And basically it brings you to Canva's new redesigned homepage here. As you can see, oh boy, <laughs> confetti. As you can see, the focus here is um, targeted towards teams now with these doc, whiteboard, presentation, social media, etc., cetera, et cetera. Um, And you can see what's new in these different things, but I'm basically going to highlight some of my favorite features on the pro um, subscription, which is over here. I'm jumping over to my pro subscription. Um, the things that I was really excited about, I'm just going to show you my screen here, was um, brand voice, video enhancements, highlights. So you can actually use the video editor here to um, get the highlights from your video. It, it didn't really work that well here. This is my video about um, receipt scanning and I'm trying to get the highlights here. It would be really great if Canva had this built-in feature to create highlight reels um, from longer videos because that's something I would love to be able to do but don't want to pay for. And my common complaint about so many of the applications I use is that I'm using different applications. I wish all the things could just be in one place and so Canva is moving closer to that. So I do appreciate that. Awesome. Okay, so we did get some highlights. Hey, it's Kathy, and if you are new here, I don't normally just, sh they have so many different ways. I would say. next one we're going to talk about is Receipt Jar. And okay, so that's interesting how up. that found some highlights there. Um, one of the awesome new features that I'm excited about is background remover in videos. So remover. let's see what happens. Mm, video is too long. So that is the limitation there. Let's see if I can use one of Canva's videos. And um, let's see, elements. Let's see if I can find a short clip. So that's 11 seconds. Um, yeah, let's say I want to get rid of the background on this one. Okay, so that's interesting. You could put something underneath it. Going back to this one here, um, we've got audio where I can turn on the enhanced voice. Mm. Again, it looks like it might be limited to a certain time frame. This isn't a super long video. This is like an eight minute video. Yeah, that's kind of annoying unless maybe it's because I added this page. It looked like earlier I was able to do this. Edit. What does that do? Okay, so that's video edits, enhanced voice. Oh, there we go. Okay, so let's hear it without. Like this, but we're going to be talking about one of my favorite topics, which is. Okay, let's try that again. Like this, but we're going to be talking about one of my favorite topics, which is making free money by. Okay, so awesome. It actually got rid of the sound of the crinkling of receipts. Talking about one of my favorite. Talking about one of my favorite. 
So that's basically the video features that I was most excited about was getting rid of the background and um, enhancing my voice there as well as the highlights, like selecting highlights from it. It didn't do that good a job, but maybe this is not the right kind of video to try and find highlights. The video editor is not very good for editing clips together. Um, it's just definitely not made for the type of video editing I do, but they do have an awesome feature of doing like screen recording and voice recordings if you're doing stuff um, instructional videos, but again, because it's really not meant for anything over 10 minutes, a lot of my video tutorials tend to be a little bit longer, so it's not ideal for me, but it's really cool that they actually have enhanced their video features because they didn't really have a ton of features for video editing before. Um, one of the other cool things is having multiple brands. I don't know if this was a thing before or not, um, but now you can go to, when you go to design and you go to styles, you can choose which brand kit you want to use. So I've got this brand kit, and then I can apply the colors to a template. Um, also in brands here, we've got now photos, graphics, icons, and logos. So it's really easy to add your logo in um, down here, just because you have all that uploaded. Um, my photos for Fit Kitty Tries, my graphics are right there, rather than having to go into my uploads or create some sort of folder for them set up your brand templates. Yeah, so you can have different templates for different brands. I've got three different brands going on here um, in my brand kits. So you can see each of them. And then when I jump into them, it brings me into the brand kit, brand voice, all this awesome stuff. Again, you can now upload graphics and icons and photos. Um, you can also create a brand voice. So the new AI basically can analyze your voice by put, pasting in some um, writing here. So I'll just jump over to my blog. I already highlighted that from Fit Kitty Tries. And now it's going to um, analyze that, I think. Interesting, try your brand voice in a design. Let's try that. Let's start by um, creating something so again, one of the big things Canva is doing is AI. So Magic Write, let's ask it to write an article about how to choose a niche for print on demand. Let's generate that. Okay, so now I can insert that. Ooh, why is that so big? So you can apply heading styles. Okay, now let's see if we can Magic right, and we're going to change the voice on here to custom voice. Apply brand voice, perfect. So basically it um, analyzes your writing style and creates a brand voice. This is really helpful for me because I try and use chat GPT and use descriptors of how my brand voice is when I'm using generative AI to help me write. Um, Um, let's go over to templates, doc templates. Um, in some of the places, there's now like a generative AI for templates. It's definitely available in slides um, where I can go to design. Yeah, so this is one that I created actually was magic design here. Um, I put a presentation on how to start a print on demand business. We have our magic design and then we just have other like the normal template results. So that's again something I'm really excited about is the ability to generate your own templates because sometimes applying my own brand to templates doesn't work as well as generating a new template. However, Let's see if I can apply my brand, then generate templates. Let's see here. Um, sure, which brand kit do I want? This one has the most stuff in it. Brand voice, colors, seal. So I can shuffle that. Ooh. Printing on demand, interesting. Okay, so that's that. Oh, and then we can apply to all pages. Nice, so that looks good. That's our colors. Again, I have that easy access to my graphics and photos and my logo. Okay, so Magic Design has brand options. I mean, I'm under Magic Design. 
Ooh, let's see results. I wonder if it'll design it with my own um, brand kit, because that's exactly what I was hoping for, because I find that when you apply your brand to existing kits, it doesn't always work. Okay. Anyway, so this is this is a little bit exciting and new. There's definitely some new stuff available. The big changes were really to make Canva more accessible for businesses, which is why you'll notice that we've got the different brands, we've got team options, and then the home is now doing all this. Let's see what's new. So work redesigned. Yeah, I watched the keynote. So basically, yeah, there's now um, more stuff available for uh, businesses, which doesn't necessarily help me out too much. We've got magic media, we've got highlights, resize and magic switch, magic grab, um, styles, magic write, enhanced voice, layouts. Okay, interesting. So I have now gotten the glow up here, more focused editor, better collaboration. And yeah, that's basically it. Um, when I'm creating for print on demand, let's just see what's new here. Basically, I usually create a custom size. This is my normal print on demand workflow here. All right, we've got some templates available again, which I ignore. I usually just start with something like an element. Let's make a cute cat t-shirt. <laughs> Um, let's go to graphics. Let's try this one. And then this is, we've got our different editing features here. So when we click on this, it's going to bring up the side editor or it should. Yeah, there we go. So now we've got this available. Um, a lot of these were here before. We've got blend, which is new. Yeah, this is all pretty normal stuff that's been there and that you might have noticed already in your Canva when you're designing. Yeah, in terms of print on demand stuff, the other thing is to be able to generate um, new graphics where you go to background magic, magic media. That's probably it. Yep, cat astronaut. Ooh, and I can choose graphics. Oh my God, I love that. Cat astro. You can even do generative videos. That's cool. Yeah, I don't know how much I love that. Let's check out the images. Anyways, that's been a pretty loose overview about how Canva creates went. It was mostly targeting and angling Canva to being a workplace tool. There's a lot to explore, um, but I found that I didn't really learn anything too applicable for me because Canva makes it really easy when they have new features to just highlight those new features um, on there for editing photos and whatnot. The only thing that really I revealed to you was clicking on for you seven times allows you access to the new Canva glow up um, interface, which you may as well get on because Canva is eventually going to roll that out for everyone. So yeah, I'm excited to see where Canva goes. They're always expanding their tools and using AI for editing, um, both for text and for like stuff like magic um, expander, the grab tool, the eraser tool, all of those things are really great and really um, making it so that I'm not using Photo P, which is the free Photoshop alternative as much. In fact, I haven't used it in quite a while now. Um, I still use Creative Fabrica to get my graphics and my fonts. Um, yeah. But other than that, those are kind of the two main tools I'm using for designing for print on demand, as well as running my YouTube and social medias. So thanks for joining me for this pretty loose recap. I hope you enjoy exploring all of Canva's new features.